just had fun today. Bring that into the game, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you saw. I mean, they go out here and, they, and on chicken day, and that's what I told them. I said, we go play like we, like we do on chicken day. We'd be in a better spot. You know, they, they relax because they're playing each other. and and uh, But that's what we've been doing for years and years and years, and it's what we live by. So just go compete on chicken day. And the one thing you've said to them numerous times, you see the videos, I mean, you played this game since you were a kid. That's right. So what changes? That's right. I mean, again, you know, regardless of what anybody calls it in the league, man to man's man to man, you know, four or five, six man pressures, four or five, six man pressure, you know, the, the zones are very similar, you know, so uh, it, it comes down to going out and executing. How do you do that? How do you get it promoted here and out there? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, again, it's kind of like uh, playing backyard basketball. If you ever get them to figure it out, once once it clicks as a group, and it's clicked a lot of times in the past, it's just, but we're close. So it's just a matter of taking it to the field. How would you assess the amount of pressure you got on the quarterback last week? Too much, but we had too many vertical routes called. We've talked about trying to get the ball out of the quarterback's hand and, you know, not running as many vertical routes. It's it's uh, it's easy to get over there and get enamored with all the th guys that you have. Well, we'll do this, and the concepts are there. But at the same time, if it takes, you know, three, four, four and a half seconds, well, that's not reality. So we've got to do a better job, uh, you know, devising plays to, to get the ball out of his hands. We've got to run football more effectively. So those two things have to happen. Conversely, how would you assess the amount of pressure you got? We didn't get enough pressure. We've got to have more pressure. We've got a good defensive line. Uh, they did a, a better job, I think, Trevor, of, of getting the ball out of his hands. And, uh, and of course, that's his game. Difference between Vernon Adams and, and Trevor? Well, I tell you what, you know, used to Vernon would sit there and pat the football. Uh, I think that he, other day against Calgary, I, that's as good a job as I remember him ever doing of looking at the uh, contour of the, of the defense, seeing what zone they're in, and then getting the ball to the correct people. Um, he did an excellent job as far as throwing the ball accurately, uh, or I would say not throwing, but passing the ball accurately. And uh, we know he's, he's mobile, so he, uh, he uh, did a very good job against Calgary. Look at the matchup with their receivers and your secondary, and they you have a tall secondary. They got a lot of tall receivers as well, a lot of one on ones here that you can see. They uh, they high point the ball just about as good as anybody in the league. And I mean, last year if you go back, I mean they they really made plays for Rourke and they made plays for uh, Vernon. And so you know when you when they throw the double move or the go ball, we've got to be there and and uh, knock the ball away. What's the significance of the first road game of the season and going into someone's home opener? Well, we've got to do what Saskatchewan did, and uh, we've got to do what BC did. We've got to go on the road and, and win at a very tough place to play. I would say they'll have 30,000, 40,000 people there, mm -hmm. and they've got momentum. They, they've played well. Uh, they're, they're turning into a very good football team, so we've got to go over there and beat a good team. Thanks, Chris. All right. See you all.